think I don't think he's like I don't think he's in love with me. Um, like I think I think he likes me in the same way that I like him, but like like it's friends. And I think like I'm sure that if I'm sure that if the situation was different, like he'd be quite willing to kind of go along and and make it something sort of more romantic or at least more sexual or whatever. But but I think he also accepts that that is probably not going to happen. Yeah, I think he's arrogant. I mean, I don't dislike him because of his arrogance, but I definitely think he's arrogant. And self, and just quite sort of self-absorbed as well. Well, not really, like, it's not that bad a thing. Like, I mean, it's not, it's not, it's something that, con like, it's something that I find quite amazing that he can, that he can still find himself so interesting after 20 years. I find quite sort of, quite amazing. But it's not something that I hate necessarily. Like I, I just think it's I just I just think it's interesting that I mean this is whenever you get Charles drunk, like one of the first things you talk about is what great people we all are and how we have such an amazing collection of talent amongst our group of friends and like I just, blah blah blah. He's just always talking about himself rather than like, there are whole ranges of other things in the world that, that one can talk about. Yes, that's my mum. And they're my two aunts. And um that was photographed when my mum got her PhD, um, and they were the first three, like three sisters, who all got a PhD in Australia. The Arts Review this year has the potential to be absolutely brilliant. Um, like it, it, there's a lot of work involved and everything, but we have enough talented people to make it one of the best reviews that's been seen. You know, in Australia, I mean, it could be um, a renaissance of culture like you know and and a real sort of opportunity like at melbourne university with the degeneration or at cambridge or oxford with i think like there is that potential there charles has made himself director of the review and appointed anna executive producer the cast have all gone to a beach house for a weekend of brainstorming all they have to do now is come up with something funny. Like this girl behind the bar says, Oh, you're the orgasm girl! <laughs> what? <laughs> what did she mean? She said the girl did the orgasm and they asked me. <laughs> My God! So, people still remember the orgasm. And we did um, <laughs> the Hallelujah Chorus to Canalingus. Oh, cool. Canalingus. Ah, okay, so, attention ladies and gentlemen. And then... And then we'll just, just will into a performance. Then we'll stare on you, scandalise you, confuse you, and almost certainly oh, embarrass you. Shoto! Shoto! Mike! 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 Once, like, they're both cheating on each other, sort of thing. Through the tiresome work of 12 scriptwriters, 31 Hi. professional actors, 48 executive producers, 430 lighting riggers, and over 12,000 pre-Socratic philosophers, we bring you a performance of such unparalleled mediocrity that you simply will not know it. <laughs> the, the, the sort of the male is, like, just saying all this, you know, we're actually probably being the female, but saying all this, like, nice romantic stuff, right? And then the guy says exactly the same thing, but in guy speak, right? That's you may be shocked by what you see. You may be made angry. You may be moved to tears. Because then if we can make it so that it's not just... Because often those sorts of scenes, and possibly because they're often like written by guys, degenerate into women saying like all this soppy stuff and sounding stupid and the men sounding cool by exactly. guys. Or do you, think, do you think possibly that we should reverse it? Because tonight is the night of the man who can wet other people. A man who stands taller and more stably than 20 small tangy grapefruits balanced one on top of the other and then gently pushed. A man who can change a light globe with his bottom. A man who makes Arnold Schwarzenegger look like a scrawny little Asian. This man is to Australia <laughs> what the Commodore Amiga is to personal computing. Wouldn't it be much more relevant if they weren't married? They were like... University lovers or whatever. Oh, where's the comic premise in that? <laughs> yeah, seriously, uh, have a gynaecological or something. In a lecture? Just sort of in think, a yeah. mobile phone. That's what I have mobile phone. Yes. Who is this man? You cannot. <laughs> His name sends shivers down the aortas of jellyfish. 
they got she's business. Driving, she's driving to uni on the same. Because he's like a business. I just want to know, do you, do you love me? Yeah. I mean, no, are you in I love with me? Now, no, can I just say, I still don't see where I'm going to laugh. <laughs> you're going to laugh at the whole bloody thing. You're going to go, well, they're in bed. They're in bed. Right. <laughs> you're out. You cannot write a scrawny relation. You cannot. Yeah, true. We cannot write it, but we can say it on the night. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. There's no way he's allowed to range people. Yeah. And besides, he's a he's a he's an all white sort of guy. That's the point. It's making a Syrian political point. Oh yeah. He is. <laughs> well, okay, it's not Syrian. It's making it very weak. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the play about? Why is it called Pygmalion? What is the implication of calling it pygmy? What is it that Shaw is actually doing? Is he, is he serious? I guess is the question. I mean, it is a serious social analysis. Uh, I mean, they are so silly that they consider maybe their own destruction, their own entertainment. You know, they, you know, another blitz tomorrow night. Um, because they haven't anything else to do with themselves. I mean, they're really a group without any kind of purpose, are they? I mean, they have no teleology, no direction in their lives. <coughs> I think it'd be kind of disappointing if we, if we finish this world and, and it turns out the end of the game. I'm sure it was, though. I just keep dying. It's terrible. So I should really have followed the directions. Why on so long? All because the ship flew away. I actually lied. I haven't done this level. You wretch. I have. <laughs>